I V M. Hi everybody, just wanted to ask everyone for a quick favor. We're running a brand survey right now and would really appreciate it if you could let us know what you think about the advertising on IVM. Go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey and do let us know. As part of this, we'll be selecting 10 random participants and sending them some IVM swag. So do fill out those surveys. The language used on the podcast may not be fit for consumption. We warn you, tread carefully. But listen, yaar, don't be so conservative. Just want to start at the beginning by saying, as a disclaimer to everybody, alcohol is bad for you. Unless, of course, it's in a medical bottle and then, of course, it may be good for you, depending on where you put it. Having said that, the rant for today, Evening Cock and Bull, where we welcome three very, very famous men, is the swimming pool. I think I have to ask this question of the government. Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, as well as members of parliament in Maharashtra. Please ask me, uh, or rather answer, why the swimming pools aren't open? I'm not able to, I can't, because everything else is open, you know. I mean, and ACs are on, people are holding hands, people are playing cricket and football downstairs, uh, theatres are opening, schools have opened. Uh, this great 50% myths, because that, I believe, uh, makes a lot of sense to who I don't know. That can carry on, but why no swimming pool? It's driving us mad. My wife is now asking me to make more money so that I can buy her a swimming pool, which is private. So, I please, government, you're putting pressure on husbands and spouses all across the country. Open the swimming pools. Less Indians on land, more Indians on water will solve the population issue to some extent in terms of space uh, curtailing that we have. Now, having said that, let's take a deep breath and start the show. Habits? Routines? How exactly do they help us get better? Well, to simplify it for you, tune in to the Habit Coach Podcast. I am Ashton Doctor and I'm going to be here to help you get better daily with some simple, easy to do habits that you can easily adapt to your life. So tune in to the Habit Coach Podcast from Monday to Friday because I believe that awesome lives start with awesome habits. And welcome uh, Abbas. Abbas Momin is Hello. back. Ex-producer. <laughs> yes. Ex-producer sounds bad. One-time producer. And he moved on to uh, greater oh. things. Like being stuck in Bhivandi for two years during pandemic. <laughs> Silvery is with us as well. Uh, who uh, I've caught Silvery for those who are following this show. Or our shows. Oh. Combing his oh. hair during uh, whenever the thing goes offline or whatever. And yeah, we yeah. have to stop for a second. He quickly combs his hair. So, uh, Silvery, you need to explain that to me. Uh, Amit, you have no right to uh, butt into this conversation. Yeah. 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 You're quite the no, way. No, no, you always, it's like a, I feel like a cowboy, you know, I just take it out of my pocket. Like, yeah, let's get, get rid of that. <laughs> this is that what you got from Western hair. films. This <laughs> is what you got. We all went to yeah, Kiddies yeah. for movies too. And the last thing I got was somebody combing his hair. But yes, yeah. okay. I, I, I take it as... See, uh, see, the thing is, in this lockdown, I have... Uh, the, the frequency at which I get my haircuts is a lot less now. Like, I, I wait for like two, three months sometimes to get a haircut. Stop that. It's insensitive to the two other guests because they've not had haircuts for many decades. And that's not a nice thing to bring up. That's mean. That's really mean. <laughs> well, well. Yeah, but it's fantastic that you thought cowboys sit around combing their hair. The Brokeback Mountain is not the only cowboy film. What's the mother's piece? For God's sake. I mean, they're all knitting and cleaning up and I'll wash your bottom now. And that, that doesn't really happen. What's about the other movies? Amit, where were you? Your name is Amit. You're wearing bright orange. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> what comes to mind? Yes. Yeah. I, hey, listen, I... Abbas, your turn. Yeah. I want Things to go for changed. a cruise in freedom. I do not want to go to a cruise and have problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because my friends are doing drugs. Who knows who gets... I don't know how people have not understood what is the vulgarity and the immorality of that situation is not about the drugs. That's the least of the issues. The problem is how can you charge 80 to 90,000 rupees for a ticket for one night party? <laughs> yeah, I mean, correct. That, I mean, exactly. As a middle class man, isn't that what you should be thinking? Ki, boss, again you're screwing me? Yeah. These guys give 90,000 bucks to enter for 3-4 hours entertainment. <laughs> man, that's the problem. Not what they had. And by the way, he had nothing on him. That's what I heard. I heard from a couple of people yeah, that he had him. nothing on him himself. Absolutely nothing. Which is what is... So I'm just like, on what basis are they arresting? Because the people around him are doing it? No. So they are saying that the person was caught with him, right? His friend. Ah, I'm forgetting. Arbaaz. The, the merchant. Yeah, Arbaaz merchant. Correct. Yeah. Arbaaz merchant. Uh, they found stuff on him. But Arbaaz merchant's lawyer is saying that it was planted. 
and but but even the stuff on Arbaz was very little, honestly. Yeah, yeah correct. correct. Uh, minuscule, but they still found something. It's enough for possession. I don't know what the charge is possession. Put them uh, under using whatever the uh, the yeah exactly technical term is, which is maximum of one to two years, which which you can fight and exactly. get nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous, really. Yeah, yeah, these guys want to make it seem like there's some big net of. Uh, but here's an idea: all that manpower and infrastructure and media power that we are using on Aryan and gang for you know uh, being rich kids having a good time as it is across the world. If they just yeah. divert that manpower towards Lakhimpur, where things are not being very clear, <laughs> you know, in spite of video footage and all, it's a mystery. It continues to be a 42 series mystery about what happened. You know, uh, so whose car I, did they make? Yeah. So today in the morning, right? I'm taking my morning walk uh, i uh, i walk in the house up and down right so today i woke up a, it's, it's what i do i walk in the house Only, my mother is 79 that's why uh-huh. she walks in the house but anyway no, i walk in the house because i like walking in the house i don't like to wear shoes when i walk i, I walk in the house man i'm happy to do that but so <laughs> i like i woke up early today uh, a little earlier than normal and so when i was walking in the house uh, when while i was walking my mom was watching tv and news and eating breakfast she's watching times now okay mm-hmm. so i think i start my walk at about 8 Twenty or something like that, and I walked till nine. For the first twenty minutes, all Arbaz or uh, Arman, sorry, what Arman or Arba, sorry, Shahrukh Khan. Arbaz, yeah, yeah. Oh, Aryan, yeah. Oh, Aryan, no, Aryan, 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 Aryan. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Arbaz oh. is best one. <laughs> exhibit A, Exhibit B. It's difficult for you to remember names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, basically, uh, uh, first twenty minutes, that's all that's coming on. After that, the next thing that is coming on is this large feature they do about how Modi has gone from Chief Minister of Gujarat to global leader, right? So uh-huh. there was a feature that they're playing about that, right? So that's going on for the next. By global year. leader, do do you mean leader of the world? Huh? He's been doing two decades in politics. I think that's why maybe you were saying like maybe, but I mean like over seven yeah. today, today, yeah. Yeah. yeah, not in politics. I think twenty years as a uh, pan India politics. Executive, some executive. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, oh, okay. He must okay. have become the CM. He became the CM in two thousand one only. Now, so it, this is yeah. about. the right yeah. time uh but yeah no so yeah. then so then that oh, okay. came after that then after that there was a report about something of uh, something around the quad ka things that were going on right the yes. uh, the 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 war games between india and the us the great after. work the four powers are doing by exactly doing right yeah, yeah. go on and so on. basically i'm 40 minutes into it and i have not seen anything about lakhimpur mm. at all nothing mm. nothing yeah. But go to NDTV. NDTV is poor chaps are covering it. <laughs> I saw the video last night for the first time, and that video is nuts. The the one with the cat, the car bashing into the back yeah, of the yeah, yeah. farmers. Oh man! This is not like that. This is like deliberate to like. They didn't even try to slow down. Like, it seems like they just sped up. He sped up. Only tried to slow down. It's yeah, an act of yeah. delivery. Come on. He sped up. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Right. There, like there's no doubt about intent over there. Like this is not an accident. This was let us roll. Silvery, please don't be their lawyer and try to tell me it was an accident. I mean, really. I mean, that's really not right. I'm agreeing with Amit. No, no. I'm saying yeah. they, he didn't try to slow down. It was so obvious. That they are doing this as an act of aggression, yeah, exactly. No, no. It, so, a... so that's what. And interesting. I was I was telling Silas and Abbas before this, and uh, there's an interesting article that I read was that India is right now in the throes of uh, two sons. That is, one is the son of this MP from Lakhimpur, uh, Kheri, where, right. where this whole thing happened, and one is uh, Shahrukh Khan's son, right? And the totally unrelated cases, but it is interesting to see the media attention that both are getting and the police yes. action. that both the cases have seen or at least the promptness of the police action that both the cases have seen no, so you know here's the thing you're absolutely right oh, right yeah. i mean like it, it it is a it is the most kind of definitive uh, examples of dynastic kind of thought that exists in this country that you could possibly imagine it's not just the gandhi family that's dynastic right everything is everything is nepotism are forget industrialists uh, dentists i mean Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm, uh, Abbas. I don't know why I said dentist, <laughs> but you <laughs> very well know that you were supposed to do. You were supposed to I, do dentist. I moved away from uh, the. No, no, but one second, one second. Listen, I, for my sake, my father wanted me to do law because he's a lawyer. You know, I mean, I, it's the same principle, right? Yeah. Those yeah, who are influential yeah. in their field, and then it becomes nepotism. If they're not, no, nobody cares. It's like that. But yeah. sorry, you were saying. No, no, it is. No, no. I, I, I just find this whole kind of like you know, it, it really is instructive how much everybody who we talk about is the son of somebody else, mm. right? And and that's the uh, the that that's the claim to fame. And I thought that was really kind of uh, that that was uh, that that is really telling. Shame. Let's let's divide it. Shamelessness of media first, okay? 
and not just uh, the ones you mentioned it because there are lots more 80 90% of them are doing, yeah okay are doing the same thing the bunch of kids having a good time if there was no shahrukh khan attached to that superstar of india and makes yeah. it glamour appeal and makes it you know sensational and dramatic and theatrical nobody cares it wouldn't have come up only it would have been a one one night story about some rich guys and being caught and all that like a mud island bus it's no it's possible the ncb wouldn't have even raided it if shahrukh khan son wasn't involved but we don't know that right so i mean that's in, that's okay. imputing motives beyond what we know to them okay sure but the, the other side does it why should we be so clean he's right to make up his own allegation <laughs> on the, on the left, right no no side. but yeah but we don't know that we don't know that for sure no, no but 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 you know it, it is that without the shahrukh khan chap who cares okay so and his name is dragged in every bloody conversation shahrukh khan yeah. son aryan shahrukh khan son aryan khan all the time as if he is responsible from spain where he's shooting anyway in the meantime lakhimpur they they devoured it the first night it just sort of almost disappeared because everybody was hoping it would disappear yeah. so the whole thing is about if the news doesn't carry in uh, 20, 24 hours to 36 hours in the modern world uh, and context it sort of becomes like you know diluted and i think it has got a little diluted they have sort of been successful now let's see what happens because now it's the, it's outside india where people are talking about it and we're looking stupid you're talking about some stupid silly kids running around having a good time who may or may not have imbibed drugs with across the world other kids do i'm not saying it's a great thing to do or not but i'm saying put it in perspective for god's sake yeah. these guys are killers somebody's what happened to hartals and dharnas was started by indians we are the country that gave it to the world as usual to give things that stall work but that's our great greatness and uh, the right to peacefully protest oh, before you start telling me they were violent protesters yeah. protesters that comes later that argument my point is peaceful protest has been looked down upon as farm agitation tell me or not from the beginning they've uh, used the stick to them all right it's been a little unnecessary i thought because it's causing reactions it's just we handled badly but i think that's how we handle protests generally right i mean like i don't think that in india we know how to handle protests at all right it, it they most more often than not they're almost always like anything which is serious right i'm i'm not talking about like a bus and friends going to cut a road and like you know putting up like uh, posters i'm not talking about that kind of thing right? uh, but you say abbas and friends are you making some sort of muslim point here because i i don't understand what you're saying <laughs> is that what he's oh, that what he's august kranti his maidan name, his name is all over the maidan. place Okay. Uh, August Gandhi uh, Maidan is the worst place in 21st century to have a revolution. <laughs> There is no parking, and it's a small little place. And it's all, all the... things that work in favor of a protest, right? Which is why no. it makes it ideal for so a protest. So only, yeah. So firstly, the rich won't be protesting. You need the rich, you know. You need to have those three Jack Nicholson-like figures in the Lakers match in the front. You know, you need that guy endorsing uh, the whole thing. No, Sorry but if you remember, so the first protest was was at August Gandhi. Then it was, uh, then there was that impromptu thing at. Uh, gateway of india uh, which went on for two days and then the third day the cops came and put us in a not i wasn't there but the oh. people who were there put them in a van and dropped them at azad maidan i was like protest here and that was <laughs> that was <laughs> like azad maidan you do whatever you want you play cricket you protest I think, I, I, this I is the your police and the powers to be uh, maharashtra up wherever you are looking delhi the powers to be they have missed a very important point they have no sense of democracy and it's becoming blatant you see because if we cannot as lobbies say look we're not happy with this and we want to discuss it and uh, when when you're not listening to us we will strike I, i hate it i hate the idea of strikes but it's your right it's your right in democracy for the people to say hey powers that be we need to talk i thought that's what it's all about but if it, if they Agreed. don't get to talk then what democracy is there then there's just powers to be which is same as north korea so why are we even bothering in which case they just tell us what it is the idea of striking and hartal in in our consciousness it's seen as a bad thing because uh, people like us the more affluent people don't strike the people who strike are the people who have been painted as the um, uh, people who create a ruckus or stuff like that so in, in our consciousness hartal is not fighting for your rights it is just creating uh nuisance for Creating the sake of us yeah you yeah, know if you've yeah. seen uh, the kejriwal rising or even the lgbt uh, groups coming yeah, together yeah, and yeah. abbas what you have fought for variously <laughs> there's a lot of mixed people coming through you know and by mixed i don't mean uh, religious and race i mean types of people coming through also it's not like exactly what you thought it would be and even what the farmers a- agitation has got a lot of support from the elite as well as uh, you know the actual farmer community as well as urban india as well it's not that it doesn't have support But the way oh, you're true. not allowed to talk about it, or if you yeah. have a stand mm-hmm. against uh, the government, and that's like a black note, that's the problem. You know, this mafia giri which is happening. Like we can't voice an opinion and uh, in support of people who look. It's, I would think if it's a problem with that lobby, then that lobby is the most important voice, right? If it's a podcast issue, then we as podcasters not must be allowed to talk or not. <laughs> you can't just tell us this is the law and that's it. Yeah, just think of it from that point of view. That's their their business. 
and silvery has uh, a punjabi and all punjabis have at least one cousin who's still in the farm the guy who didn't go to school yeah no but it's definitely 100% a concern right i mean like uh, the 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 sense of uh, thuggishness right which i That's and again it. like you know it's it, the, what what's weird is like i've been doing stuff in india like working here since 97 96 or 97 right this is we're talking about 25 years since i started my professional career and i have never dealt with as much thuggishness i feel like as i have dealt with in the last 2 3 years now some of that might be pandemic right it might not it, it's not necessarily ascribable I, i mean like i know that all of us are the kinds who would like to ascribe it to the central government and some of it might be there some of it might not be there some of it might be pandemic but i just i really do feel this right now that there is this kind of sense of somebody like antrish got smacked the other day randomly right what uh but, oh yeah abbas you're not listening okay. to the podcast man yeah man that's the thing antrik you tell you need to tell me this story <laughs> of of uh, of it after 3 years some guy who watched the show came to hit him yeah <laughs> i see yes okay yeah that's what happened no, in okay. short in short yeah he got into a road rage fight with a biker misbehaving yeah. two uh-huh. bikers misbehaving and trying to bully right. him right Uh, right. So, but what I'm saying that no, no, not trying. They succeeded. <laughs> they slapped. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. As you said, that you remain unfazed. Unfortunately, you weren't physically able to overpower. I mean, them. yeah, but they did. So, yeah, they spirit did. is not broken. Yeah. Then you have not lost the battle. Flesh will lose. Flesh can't. You can't guarantee what flesh can do. There's always someone bigger. Remember that. Don't worry about yeah. that. But uh, no, I think I think what he's saying makes a lot of sense. Also, in the sense that it's it's now holistic. You see the thuggishness yeah. because it breeds more thuggery from every side. It does. From yeah, why do they lynch people and all that? It's not like that. MP has called someone to get lynched. It's just that the bad elements start feeling more empowered, and the bad elements are behaving badly. That's it. And so yep. in in their attempt to have rule of law and follow it and all, they actually get the opposite. That's what's going to happen. And I just I no no. I was just saying that I I, I think that's clearly coming across right. That I mean like the fact that. Uh, you know i mean like there is this theory and just uh sorry i can't remember what the theory is but it's like one of those things that you get in free economics or stuff uh it's terrible to make laws which people don't follow and that is the biggest problem i think we have in india we have laws which we assume we are not going to follow right yeah. and that con- that creates a contempt for law in all of our own behaviors we don't and, and this is now thuggishness is basically that multiplied by 5 right because we don't have respect for law we'll say anything we'll do anything you know i mean like oh we'll handle it that's how people think about this stuff and, we, and it's got worse because 20 years ago it was only uh, no spitting uh, uh, that kind of thing <laughs> no spitting is welcome i mean it's not- such a no, bad crime it, compared to this it's, it's not just that right so it's even like you think about like tax laws and stuff like that you think about like you know all of these laws there's so many like uh, road rules that are there there's so many laws that most people don't follow right and that creates this contempt for law it's just like you know that oh screw it who cares and that leads to that whole broken yeah. windows theory right where if you st- if people don't respect this stuff if people don't live the right way but there the arrogance of what you're talking about civil infrastructure law being not you know the streets of the city etc and all i think that's a lot to do with what they see what happens is after five times of the guy breaking the one way you say i'm also going to break the one way yeah okay of course the genesis is the same thing But it's it's the same, disenchanted but, people, and you know, yeah. saying, okay, you know what, you're bullying us, and so now we don't want to respect you anymore, and the, all that is also happening at the same time. But and the the other part, which we just discussed, which is uh, uh, the thugs getting empowered yeah. to misbehave and bully, and so may may like the bikers. I my argument with bikers all the time is so. I wish I could record them for the logic. To be clear, this is what he told me the next <laughs> last time I told him. Uh, uh, yeah, one way. To be clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay i should also do that yes that's the logic so exactly what you're saying yeah i'm just saying we should have a moron test in india okay and this is not like genocide but i'm just saying that if you're a complete moron you should be shot is that fair <laughs> to say the democracy and this is got nothing to do with color of skin or religion or nationality or this and that who cares about all that but if you're a complete moron let's shoot you because it is same kajol of- is watching on facebook who's kajol on facebook of all places kajol kajol srinivasan yes. srinivasan <laughs> yes kajol srinivasan our friend our friend kajol dude oh, that's huge Why didn't you tell? end of the show? <laughs> Why can't Kajol come on? Huh? Um, we'll ask her to come on. I just saw that she said she commented, but I'm surprised that she commented on Facebook and not on YouTube, which is why I uh, maybe it. she she's had the same fight with YouTube. Maybe <laughs> something yeah. happened quietly. She was watching something she shouldn't be watching, uh, but she sent a heart by the way. Oh, did she? Yes, she did. It's difficult yeah, yeah, yeah. to ask Mumbaiers that we get one heart for four boys. Now we have to share. <laughs> This has been my story in college. 
<laughs> Literally, it was like one girl in five guys or something like that. So I think it's correct. They should never send more. Whatever happens, yeah. So coming back to Lakhimpur, how do you think it's going to play out, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think is the end result? I'll tell you. Arjun Khan is going to get bail. They all get bail. India will win a match soon. <laughs> 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 it's still uh, 24th October, still still a while away. Yeah. Uh, In the meantime, weeks. yeah, almost. In the meantime, I don't think anything serious happens to these people, uh, to the father or the son. I don't think. Like nothing. My thing is, yeah, exactly. They don't even offer. They don't even offer to resign. Jail for life would happen. Not even jail. So that, I, I doubt he'll say even jail. Not that. even jail. So th- these cases go on forever and ever and ever. And a lot of these people don't see cases, don't see jail time, right? Because of it. So I think that's what will happen in this case. Problem is the judiciary and the political machinery, the executive being too closely aligned. Yeah, that's the other problem. You see, if yeah. you're a pa- pa- party in power, it changes things for certain people. And that's again across the country. Is you can't even blame one party for that. That's the way it works. If you look at the Maharashtra versus uh, center, the way they've gone after Ajit Pawar and raided him, uh, income tax comes under the center, right? Income tax. I think. Uh, in- I think income so. tax. Yeah, income tax is center. Uh, yeah, yeah, center. Yeah. So you can see it's quid pro quo. So these guys in the state attack their guys here for whatever reason, which comes under the state machinery. And uh, in the center, they go after the guys from there. What comes under the center machinery? So just using bureaucracy for petty fighting. That's. I'm not saying that people aren't guilty in all this because they try to find real cases, obviously to look good. But the point is, they wouldn't have bothered if it's not the petty fighting that's going on. And the same thing will happen here. It's all about, you know, I have to look after my boy or you have to look after your boy or if, if I'm in power and it's your boy, your bad luck. It's that kind of thing. So, uh, so that uh, so uh, it's interesting that how South Korea broke that cycle, right? In some ways, uh, basically, they arrested a whole bunch of politicians' kids, like uh, like a whole bunch of them. Uh, it was... It, uh, you mean nepotism? Yeah. There's the same nepotism problem in South Korea that we have in India, right? Where everything where used to be like family was like the Samsung chairman or daughter would be. Yeah, it was all kind of like this, right? And uh, so even on the political front, it was all political dynasty and stuff like that. And there was a ton of corruption as well. And uh, one of the ways that they kind of cleaned this stuff up was like, you know, with like hardcore arrest, not just of politicians and their kids, but like across, like it was like a crazy cleaning out. So, I mean, like maybe. So, it wasn't of one party. No. This is a bit odd because there's a multi party system as well, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, how did it, they. It, how did they do that? So, Who was, did that? so you know what? I mean, like, uh, uh, to be from what I understand of what happened over there, this was about. And you don't speak five Korean. Five years old. I do not speak Korean, but I heard the stories because uh, it is. Uh, so, suppose. Because of your martial art books, Taekwondo books. Uh, I think no, Taekwondo is from Korea. <laughs> yeah. The way Amit it is, is describing it, it sounds like the show Squid Game that they picked up everyone, put, <laughs> they put them in a death match. And whoever survived. Multi-party system is that you don't really have a, a way to... Everybody's looking after their own. It's a real mixed bag like that. So how do you do a cleanup? So what what happened in South Korea was there was a podcast, uh, which is why I've heard the story, right? Oh. Uh, who did a lot of investigative work and kept exposing person after person after person after person and put the kind of pressure where they were unable to kind of get beyond like, like you know you couldn't do business as usual because there was just so much pressure from so many different places with like real proof coming in that so that so Cyrus is, you have okay, the power I, no I, I want to say culturally uh, not to be racist in any way but Japanese and Koreans have a strong sense of honor all right what uh-huh. happens is that after the shame is peeled away and they understand that they've done something criminal I think that sense of honor you've seen so many kill themselves suicide leaders have killed themselves okay yeah. industrialists have killed themselves yeah. uh, dishonor the, the, the board Tell me which Indian politician has killed himself. Name. Oh. Except out of eating too much and, you know, the liver exploding or something. That's different. <laughs> I mean, actually killed himself. I think we just don't have shame. Even in the cricket controversy that happened, exactly, Hansi Kornier yeah. finally dies. All the Westerners went to crap who were involved. But for some reason, our guys, I'm not taking names now because I don't know who's guilty or not. So it's not right to do that. But uh, it's like water of a duck's back after some time. Abbas, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about the whole cricket uh, betting scandal and all from way back when. I remember Hansi Kronia dying. I don't remember what, what yeah, you're talking about. and he went about. through all kinds of repentance and became a born again yeah. Christian yeah, 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 and looked yeah, yeah, for God yeah. and was shunned by society. All that doesn't really happen here. Can I guess who you're talking about? I don't take names. Yeah. Some of my <laughs> cricketers were my favorites growing up. So, and I, I, right. There's no 100% way to prove all this also. Is it an ex-skipper of the Indian team? Yeah, yeah all that. But I'm just saying, we, okay. we, uh, who's actually a very nice guy and whatever yeah, I know, and yeah. a generous person and all yeah. that. So that's what. But I'm just saying that we don't seem to have that shame thing that the Koreans and Japanese have, where they just, they, once you dishonor your family name, and it's not just in politics, it's just, uh, they either disappear from society or they actually take the extreme step. 
and let me tell you uh, the harakiri which they do they take the sword into one side of, of the stomach and then they literally open up the innards like that from left to right I and they die slowly on the sword that's okay i'm going to demonstrate the my knowledge of cha Chinese Please and do. Japanese martial arts novels. Uh, so what harakiri is general is suicide, just suicide. Just general, yeah. Okay, so they yeah. act as a samurai. Do I'm talking about? Well, that's yeah. called seppuku. Can you show it without uh, killing yourself? Uh, no. So you basically you do you go like side to side and then up to down. Can you get what? Can you get Raju who cleans your house to do it? Uh, no, that's okay. I, I'll send a replacement by night. That's that, that's all right. I think I think he would be happy to not. Hey man, they'll want Diwali bakshish. Do the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> he can tell him collect it directly. <laughs> <laughs> so just say it again. It goes uh, up to down. So you're supposed to go. Uh, you're supposed to go side Left to side, right. and then after yeah. that, up and down. So basically, the idea is supposed to you're supposed to like create like a cross, and cross. then have your yeah. intestines spill out. Spill out, and then they that, dive forward on their sword only slowly. It, it doesn't like happen in seconds. Yeah, it, no, this is a slow agonizing death, which is yeah, supposed to death. supposed to take hours and hours and hours. Yes. Okay. So which politician should I put you down for, <laughs> guys? Who's got a sword? <laughs> <laughs> Names, please. Bolo. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, that was nepotism. Right. So let's start the show officially with the actual yes. topic. Uh, okay, Sean. Uh, no, we spoke uh, about we, Aryan. I'm sure that was one of the topics, right? Because we are. It was. It was I want to not speak about Aryan on principle. In some ways, yeah. right? <laughs> on principle, because I believe it doesn't deserve that kind of uh, media footage. But you know what, Cyrus? You know, it just doesn't. It's just wrong. We, we spoke about it. It's for page three. It's a gossip. We spoke about it. I brought it up, so I am as much to blame as anybody else, right? But I also detected this tone on Twitter about people like, "Oh, why are all the news channels covering this? Why are all the news channels covering this?" And I, you know, the truth is. They're covering this because this is what people want to watch. So you know, I mean, like it is the people. I don't mind them covering it. I'm saying when you have a human tragedy of this uh, sort, you had in Dakimpur. How can that go below uh, this story? This story is it should come in in the entertainment section or crime section. It's a moderate. I mean, it's a moderate story. I don't disagree with you. It's not a great story from any angle. But I, these guys on a boat. I'm going to guess that most of the news channels which are putting this thing up front are putting it up front. I mean, like there are obviously some with agendas, right? But this is up front everywhere, right? And the reason. For that is probably because most people really want news about Bollywood stars no, in their lives. I don't lives. blame them. Look, my own mother. I keep mentioning her, but the poor yeah. thing is watching it, and she can't say the word Khan without with the H. So you know, she keeps telling me Aryan Khan has not got bail yet. And I said, No, no, don't worry, you get bail. And it's not your son. But you know how everyone is pro Shahrukh. I mean, normal people yeah. just because he's one of those guys you just love. You can't not yeah. like him. So by that process, there's a little prejudice to for him and his family. And I honestly feel that it's un unnecessary. Not just because of Shahrukh. It just I just feel it. It's just not worth this kind of mileage, and let the punishment fit the crime. Silvery has been known to uh, participate in these bang bang parties in Holi and all that. No one has arrested him. I mean, he's misbehaved. I mean, don't jinx it, yes. Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. The big bang theory. Your your book <laughs> explains it all. Huh. Another story, though. Another story that came to light. I, I actually got a lot more attention because of this Aryan Khan thing. Was uh, back in September, in mid September. in uh, at mundra port at adani's mundra port uh, they had captured a shipment of 3000 kilograms of heroin and the media attention that got in comparison is so much less and uh, compared to this so 3000 kilograms of heroin translates to about 21000 crore rupees which is how do you even fathom that oh, oh, let, let's just mention first is heroin okay heroin versus yeah. grass Okay, I mean, whatever yeah. knowledge you have about drugs, I mean, that's almost like what Kanga League A was. No, no, but in, in all fairness, no. On the ship, they found some some cocaine also. I think they found like a couple of other. Yeah, but it's not twenty thousand. Yeah. Uh, it's kilos of cocaine, right? It's like yeah, it's for eight people or five people. It's like grams. It's like twenty grams and like sixteen grams of another thing, and man, it's ridiculous. So different strokes for different folks is your new political thriller. Right, <laughs> which is obviously what <laughs> it's all it about. Like, yeah. Now, matter. unfortunately, there was no superstar involved there. You know, if it was Rithik Roshan's uncle or something, everything would have changed. I uh, don't know why I had to put that name in that poor chap. He's got enough <laughs> problems in his life. Uh, uh, so about that Mundra port thing, just today it was announced that the NIA, the National Investigative Agency, will be taking over that case 
but i think it seems like because they got so much attention they're like oh okay okay we are doing something we are doing something and they announced okay, okay now we are shifting this case onto the as an after thought because of this that, that that everybody says why have you taken a look look at the because of this because people started taking notice ki oh this also happened just right now this happened how how have you not investigated this apparently they didn't even have suspects earlier and all is okay that police uh, officer wankhade who's uh, in the ncb who's behind a lot of this uh, of these bollywood strikes so to speak and whose wife is a marathi stage uh, a theater actor and is known actually quite well known um he's always after these actors for some reason i wonder whether there's something there it's the same guy he's never the guy at the budra probably Port. is remember who was the guy I mean, who is he used upset to have... because he has the same name as the stadium but isn't allowed in <laughs> yeah, but uh, oh, really irritate me you know but sir Oh. Do you remember, uh, like, uh, maybe ten years ago, fifteen years ago, there was a Bombay cop who used to go into people's house and raid them for yeah, alcohol yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, the name Dole, is escaping me right now. Doble, 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 doble. Doble, 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 something doble. Yeah, yeah. Beat people but again, up, yeah. same, same kind of thing, right? I mean, like, he, and, and again, you know, if somebody has picked up an agenda and is going after it, I don't yeah. know if it's like, you know, if it's that innocent or if there's more to it or that what. guy had a psychotic tendency. He was beating people savagely and all that, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there was definitely an issue. The guy had to be treated psychologically. He was being taken out the force finally. So uh, Wankhade is not in that category because this guy was a little scary with his violence. Yeah. But this guy seems to have agenda with the actors. Now I'm not going back to Hitler and saying, you know, some Jewish. guys failed his drawing and then you know, this is why he went mad but you never know why people have agenda with a type it's like uh, that republic tv guy who said oh god he seems to hate bully bollywood and lutians delhi he keeps mentioning them uh, if you watch the company <laughs> yeah of all it just seems to be like a bee in his bonnet the bollywood drug things he last year that, that's what that's what tele, uh, news channels sort of uh, dragged along for but there were no convictions months, right? with the actors not deepika padukone they, were, they don't need to have not... convictions they were tried in the court of the, the public uh, or whatever you want to call it right you create a narrative you play they wanted publicity ncb got publicity pmo got publicity india got publicity they were doing yeah. something with drugs if that was the end result exactly. and i told that was very much what they wanted because it looks the people want to you have to look like you're doing something as agassi said right uh, the image is everything so the image was there The, the the narrative that is being pushed is that is that Bollywood is full of these drug addicts who take drugs who uh, traffic drugs and then uh, if things go too far they will even take someone out because that's the narrative that was being pushed with Sushant well, Rajput. So now they have when they have an opening for another thing where they can drag it along with another star kid. uh they'll take advantage of it as much as they can if you remember a, a decade or 12 years ago or something when uh, rahul mahajan was also caught with drugs i remember it Correct. being almost the same am- in in a bathtub mind you in a bathtub was it a bathtub i, I mean there, there were lots yes, of stories yes it was a horrible horribly controversial i mean the guy was in the bathtub with him and i mean honestly from that position to come out without with spelling of you know Daddy cologne i mean that's cut, cut cocaine with a 1000 rupee note and all all of those all stories were there yeah. and and yeah. and i remember even at that time that's why demonetization happened, happened yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, 10 years later yeah, uh, so yeah. i i think as and, and rahul mahajan wasn't even a like a like a on screen celebrity back then so as long as famous people's children are caught Please. with drugs it if it helps you push that thing that oh these rich people are so spoiled aren't you glad you aren't in their in, in that okay, category i have no problem with all that all i'm saying is the publicity should, should should match the the exposure should match sure, the kind yeah, of yeah, news yeah. that's happening in india that's all this is yeah. like a bunch of monkeys here after some time what are we talking about and secondly i have a mole inside bollywood okay we spent 18 okay. 1 like 80000 on his classes for an actor prepares and 1 like 20 mm. for rakesh vedi an actor uh, prepares second time and so that's 3 lakhs you spent so he knows yeah. everyone and uh, you tell me silvery give me the list of drug users in bollywood you were an actor prepares for 3 months you said you learned nothing and got no work yeah so these are the names i've heard okay these are names i've heard of there's a there's a brocha some something called cyrus something <laughs> Uh, that's the first one. That's the biggest one I've heard of. That's, that's the fringe. That's thing. on the fringe, bro. <laughs> Listen, can I tell you something? Yeah. I, I I don't know how to light a cigarette. Okay, I have very like clumsy hands. <laughs> okay, I that's too much now. That's that's over correcting. <laughs> that's okay, I don't do play. I don't do play in the rehearsals. I just couldn't do it because I don't smoke. First, I used to cough. Then they made me you know practice and all. And then finally, they changed the scene slightly so that the. Three times that the cigarette had to be lit, somebody lit it and gave me, which is not in the play. <laughs> I mean, that's how backward some actors are. I'm not talking about a you know a stunt from a helicopter or riding a horse into a water thing or whatever. I mean, I understand an actor can't do that. This is this, okay? But you can't spend people have paid money for that. You can't spend five minutes trying to start the lighter, which kept happening. I, I believe that uh, Johnny Walker, who was known for playing a drunkard, was actually a teetotaler. 
Yeah. yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. 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 But yeah, he... Antriksh, by the way, before we started, I asked you, can you like in a in a line, can you explain the difference between hash, ganja, weed, and uh what charas? That's what a podcast is all about. about. You this. come to the right place. <laughs> if if that's what we can do for our country, it's enough for me. You know, I feel happy and blessed. Answer well, we have listeners who are more knowledgeable than me. Uh, who will just help us out in a second? Our panel is real like Ordnance panel. This yeah, is yeah. what we got. We yeah, go exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I'm very uh, confused between all of them. Oh, okay. Just so, pretend, as far as I know, googling it so you don't really know it. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just look down like Kunal, like Kunal when he was cheating on Cockatoo. Yeah. <laughs> How do you spell hash? Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, well, in the web series, it's H E S H. Okay, hash. Okay. Yeah, hash, hash. Who could be hash? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, no, no. So, but uh, seriously speaking, like weed, hash, ganja, charas, uh, they are basically mm. Hindi and English names of the same thing. So oh, weed really? and ganja oh, okay. are Hindi and English, and charas and hash are Hindi and English. So ganja is not English. It, it, I think it comes from the Afghan uh, side where they found it first or whatever, and they yeah, took that name. But... Also, it's a version of the word in the local tongue. I'm sure we have people who will answer that. <laughs> okay, let people I mean, answer. This is what my understanding has been for years. Vice President of India, Vice President, we, we won't get it today. There are two till tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. but we'll get this right now. Ganja, let me tell <laughs> you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, Abbas, so you've never imbibed all these. You know things. your audience well, Cyrus. I know my audience well. I, 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 I'm audience feeling, well. unfortunately, the audience is a bit like us. They're all cheeky, cocky fuckheads. And you know, so after that, you know, we're really Man. in trouble. We yeah. can't wait to point out our mistakes. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, someone has someone commented. Man, our podcast <laughs> Abbas, is going off the rails. <laughs> you see the respect he's given you because you asked some question. And then you were Abbas. And now it's Abbas, sir. You, you, in his eyes, you've been... Wow. Ask some more, man. What's uh, a reefer? As long <laughs> as the samples saw, don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> so Abbas, have you ever, because you're a yeah. comedian and in, in your yeah. world, I'm sure there are enough people who imbibe a lot, etc. Uh, backstage, after parties. Never. Right. What? Never. What? Comedians and doing, indulging in this kind of stuff. Never. No. So what oh, was your okay. question, Cyrus? <laughs> have I ever indulged in this? You don't want to talk about it. See, the only reason I skip the boat is I can tell you I'm cheap. I remember. So at the end of the day, you have to pay for it. So when, when they say you have to pay for it, they think morally. I'm telling you, you have to actually pay for it. So remember, that's a huge literal issue. There was a comedian who used to walk on stage and who used to say... He had a joke saying, "There's a guys. There's a reason it's called the green room." <laughs> <laughs> Silvery, did, did you yeah. use the green room? Uh, no, I only uh, use the the toilet, like the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so you could you could flush everything on short notice. Yeah, yeah, that's easier, right? It's easier. When the cops show up. He's just like, hey, just a second, and just put it down the toilet, and flush it. Well, I thought um, you don't like girls, and that's the other place where that happens. <laughs> Not that, I mean, the cops can arrest you for that as well. And we're both together, can you imagine? Exactly. We're calling up the commissioner, boss. Aaj, Shahrukh Khan nahi mila, magar ek comedian hai idhar. We're pretty much uh, Antariksh. We're playing out that Akshay Kumar meme. Ke chilla chilla ke scheme bata de sab. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> I think so. And don't endorse drugs. The drugs are very bad, yeah. including very bad, uh, yeah. pharma drugs. Don't do drugs. Yeah, I think you should do what my mother does. Just get homeopathy and just put pills in your mouth. Two to ten will cure everything from cancer <laughs> downwards. Don't roll. Hey, listen, sugar pills are awesome. He's a cynic. Can I, can I just say huh? that, that we are we are saying so much about drugs being addictive? For three hours, Instagram and Facebook went down, and people were showing exactly the same kind of symptoms. Yeah, let's talk about that after. <laughs> we'll take a break and come back because that yeah. was very scary for people who are bad with technology. Uh, understand what I went through, okay? <laughs> because you people have some idea that something is going wrong. I think it's my phone. I always think it's my life. I always think that they're screwing me. So for me, it's always a very micro issue when I'm going mad until slowly it, I'm told by others uh, that this is the whole world. Let's take a break. And oh God, do I have a phone? Oh, I have a phone. It's so difficult to understand so many things in the tech world, like artificial intelligence. I know it by heart now, I don't have a look. What is that? It just sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily though, Intel's digital readiness program empowers everyone with skill sets, mindsets and tool sets to use in an ai fueled world, so you don't end up like me. As part of the Intel for Youth program, come on, join me. Intel's been working with the CBSC, Ministry of Education and the Government of India to empower today's youth to build social impact solutions while demystifying what AI is. Abbas? How do you take advantage of this? 
Purchase an Intel Core Part PC and you get free access to 80 plus hours of immersive wow. and hands-on training about AI. On completion of the program, along with a certificate, you get access to AI tool sets to try to put what you learn to good use. Now, so don't wait. Log on to futurebanawonderful.intel.com. Future Banaw Wonderful by bringing home an Intel-powered PC today. Anyway, let's go into the chat now we, uh, until he comes back. We can find the... Oh, oh welcome back, Silvery. Silvery, welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> yes, hello. Hi. That works fine. Silvery, um, oh. beginning of this show in 2000, circa 2019-20, <laughs> uh, you yeah, yeah. used to correct me for my F-ups with the laptop and the lighting and pressing the wrong button and not recording and blah, 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 blah. May I now point yep. out, gentlemen, <laughs> that the court has decided that some action should be taken against a young man in Pawai who every bloody show freezes for five to ten minutes. Nina Gupta, no less, a legend like that and you disappear in the middle. What the hell is going on? I can't help it. I can't help it. It's my Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't tell it to crash when it does. It just does that. This decides to crash during this time. Yeah, yeah. Amit <laughs> isn't crashing. Abbas isn't crashing. And mine, the novice, isn't crashing. What the hell is going on? Shall I read that ad to you again? You need some help with the AI. Shall I just... You want to just do this again? <laughs> yeah. um, no, exactly. Just, just remember, futurebanawonderful.intel.com. That's the main thing. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, we have one yeah. more topic, no, bro? At least two. Yeah, we're talking about the Facebook yes, and yes. Instagram ah, and Facebook. all of the rest of that. For, for those who may not be aware, though there might be a very small fraction of you, uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram on Monday evening crashed. Uh, Monday was the 4th of this month. And it crashed for like a good six hours yeah. where uh, people couldn't send messages, post anything. And uh, 9.30, yeah, I told my son to call on WhatsApp so we don't spend money from Canada. So trust me, I, I went into a coma <laughs> after that. It was really bad. So we tried everything, everybody's phone running around. And we don't want him to use the landline being a middle class mentality family. You know, like don't use that, sorry, that mobile line. Because although we prepaid whatever, it's like, you know how f the fear is. Don't touch that. That's like an emergency phone. But yeah, so that's my story to begin with. Then, of course, that's the time when I watch everything. And then uh, WhatsApp was a real headache for me. Uh, Abbas, what was your story? I was actually traveling. So I reached Bhimandi and I had to message my sister that I've reached. And I could see the messages weren't going through. So same thing. I switched off my Wi-Fi, switched it on again, switched off my phone, switched it on again. And still the, the message wasn't going through. So then I logged on to Twitter and the first tweet I saw was from someone saying Twitter and Instagram, ah, sorry, WhatsApp and Instagram seem to be down at the same but, time. But you wouldn't do what we... So then I used an SMS. Huh, which I did, by the way, faster <laughs> than you. But you, you wouldn't do what we would have done in the 90s, which I learned from my own father. Electronics not working, you beat it. You always beat <laughs> no, it. Like I you didn't do that. punch the TV, you would smack it <laughs> I hard. Do that. The radio, I we do would that whack the, it, the poster, we would... <laughs> Yeah, I know. So I did the same thing with the phone. I hit it with my knuckles. Also, I don't know why. I just believe that with force, it'll respond. You know, it's so sad. Silvery, your story? Uh, just I couldn't like message. It was quite basic. But I was at home the entire day. I didn't do much. Uh, just couldn't message for the most part. But you're always at home except for the one day you got beaten up by two bikers. <laughs> no, but like basically, so the entire time we were just working. And for our company communications, we use Slack anyway. So it was fine. We, I was fine. Oh, don't act part. like such a noble boy who works all day and only sticks on the com uh, communication <laughs> device of the just, company. It's what it is. Yeah, man. This went down at like 9.30 in the night. Yeah. I mean, really, don't so banana us, yeah, Baba. <laughs> this insanity number. What are you smoking? <laughs> Show me your hands. Any communication, any communication that I had to do uh, didn't really bother me because I don't remember having to send WhatsApp messages during that time that I couldn't no, Male friends or nothing that you're like. WhatsApping in the night, chatting, sharing pictures, all that crap. I mean, it wasn't that night. Didn't happen to be the night that I was doing it. Uh, what yeah. were you doing at nine thirty? I was uh, in the midst of getting, getting raided by the NCV, so I was too busy and all. For <laughs> like, one okay, grand, us, nobody <laughs> yeah. comes after you, Baba. They're oh, just, oh. well, you should have told people. them that. <laughs> I know someone who was uh, who was sexting, and it went down. So, oh I mean, no! Went, yeah, oh, that's terrible. Down. That's hilarious. It went down. <laughs> So, so then they continued it on where? Get, take a guess. Where did they continue it? They continued. Phone? Like no, message, text message, SMS. GPay. Telegram. G oh. GPay. You oh, can wow. text me. <laughs> oh, wow. That's hilarious. But can anybody else uh, log in and all that? Or? Their bank statements. <laughs> is it encrypted? Is it encrypted like WhatsApp is apparently? I mean, yeah. It, it, it probably be. is because yeah. it's... I heard because of this crash, uh, Telegram usage uh, users did suddenly like some 30 million people or something signed up to Telegram. That was that time. my first instinct. Nobody, nobody, nobody. 
like my first instinct was like, oh if i need to message somebody let me i i have telegram on my phone it's like wow you know what maybe i should open telegram to message somebody <laughs> that was my first thing right <laughs> like you know they they talk about these so, so one sec so when it when it came back you had no gratitude what when uh, whatsapp came back whatsapp came back overnight no i it came out it came... Ah, whatever so in the morning you didn't say oh thank god telegram my pal you served me well no 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 i did dude i mean like listen it was always going to come back it's not like this so you, i for a second i had a fear that is some government fucking around with facebook is mm. indian government has this propensity to ban stuff right we are right now we have already banned really <laughs> well have we not banned the third most popular so, so is it third or fourth all right so uh, most popular social networks in the world facebook Instagram and I think TikTok is number 3 I think TikTok is bigger than Twitter so we banned the third most popular social network in the world so maybe this one would have gone as well we also banned beef which i'm still recovering from <laughs> yes. so one second let's go one step at a time yeah yeah but it was uh, it, it, there were a bunch of funny twitter things right but when did you know when did you know it was a outage so i was it? actually doing work at the time right and so my uh, i i on my browser on my computer i always have web web.whatsapp.com working and web.whatsapp.com showed me like this website does not exist am i like, what the hell is this is i mean like i used it like 20 minutes ago this website yeah. not exist and so the messaging was different enough on the web that i figured out immediately there's a problem went to facebook went to instagram saw that there's a problem on both of them as well so i figured it out fairly quickly but it was uh, it was an interesting did you slap your phone ever during it do you ever hit it tap no it i liked the quiet to be honest with you right because otherwise whatsapp in the night especially yeah i'm in a lot of different groups oh, right i mean like friends groups and stuff like that So in the night WhatsApp is constantly ping 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 right so it was like that's why I don't believe what Silvery is saying everybody in the night texts there so social texting is very long yeah. I, I do it doesn't make sense what you're saying family I, text, uh, texting social texting yeah that day I just didn't have to text I don't <laughs> I don't remember being in like a fix for it you know arguably you have the most friends active friends in that sense what the Not, not, not on Monday nights. Was <laughs> there, was there, a, there, was there a new episode of that uh, manga thing that you watch all the time? No, no, a new episode of uh, no, I don't know what was it. Man? <laughs> I don't remember. Are you smoke? You too young. <laughs> I, I, I really don't today remember. Monday. Today is Thursday. What's going on? <laughs> no, no. So the manga <laughs> you're talking about, Amit, comes out on Friday. So I okay. already probably read it over the weekend. Okay. Is what. Uh, So the only thing I can think of is the uh, episode of Only Murders in the Building, but that's like forty minute episode. That comes out on a on a on a Wednesday. Yeah, I th- I think I, I think I saw it. I think oh, we get it on Wednesday mornings, or is it okay, Tuesday morning? <laughs> it's a good show. I I want to see it, but I have uh, I I've gotten into the binge thing. I can't do the weekly shows anymore. Mm. I like yeah, I waited yeah. for Ted Lasso. Yeah. Now I'm going to watch season two this weekend because no, it's over. I get I get very like uh, motivated by what I watch and all that, and I can't stand most people in the building. So I'm worried about watching. Oh, the then you will love it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm just. You know, one of my great dreams is that one of the guys is standing and the lift is an open lift, and I can just open the gate and push them through and bye bye, and then I start the lift again and nobody's the wiser. You know, it's just they're just there. again. If they're listening to this, you've given away your 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 plan. My my building, no one's listening. Don't worry, I'm I'm quite safe, quite sure. Uh, uh, shall we go to? It ADS? was surprising though. It was surprising oh, really? that it went yeah. out for six hours. Usually, when uh, these web- websites. No, but how does it help? It came no, out so- at two thirty three, which only uh, Silvery's age group will be awake. <laughs> it went out throughout the world from what i understand basically the one of their major things uh, or one of their major settings had two factor authentication in, uh, put into it and the two factor authentication went to a facebook.com email address Z- zuckerberg didn't get an otp <laughs> it, no it was basically it was recursive <laughs> yeah. right so basically everything mm-hmm. went down including facebook email and the two factor authentication authenticator was supposed to go to facebook.com email address ah, okay. and mm-hmm. so they were unable to kind of saw this is Broadly, what I can understand, <laughs> Donald Trump was involved. Yeah, well, Donald Trump was the yeah, yeah, hundred percent involved. The architect of doom. <laughs> yes, he was. You know the conspiracy theory yes, started. Did you guys see? Yeah, the Q one on all of them started. No, nah? that uh, Donald Trump is going to take over again. Yeah, <laughs> this is the uh, this is the end of social media in the U.S. and Donald Trump is going to stage a coup or some shit like that. Donald Trump and TikTok take over the world. Apparently, the same night on sixty minutes, they covered the whistleblower, Facebook whistleblower, yeah. and I think within an hour it went down. So yeah, the conspiracy theory started. See how we think, no? Nah? So it's not just Indians. 
it's not just indians who have this flexible minds all over the world it's like they just put a two and three together yeah uh, sir twitter had this great post right hello world <laughs> literally everyone or hello everybody or something like that <laughs> because all of a sudden everybody's there <laughs> we're still here come back chalo a me no you got to come here when you need to know this yeah yeah that's so mean of you amit you're treating them like you know old girlfriends when you're depressed for one night you go and hang uh-huh. out You use your Telegram and your Twitter. You just go back to them when these things happen. Otherwise, you ignore no, them. I use Twitter. Twitter is the only one. Dude, I haven't been on Instagram right now. Probably in like I don't even remember when. Oh. Like months and months and months and months. I did. I stopped doing social media. You're an Insta. Huh? Your good friend Kunal Vijaykar is doesn't stop on Instagram. He's on all day. Really? Yeah. yeah I, I have. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've exited all social media except for like the occasional Twitter. Thing. Other than that, I'm not doing Facebook. I'm not doing Instagram. I'm not doing anything. It's just too much of a time thing. I've started watching movies on YouTube. Well, I do like watching movies on YouTube, but no, especially I especially when they say it's in English and it plays in Tamil. I'm just having a great time. <laughs> just watch. So they do that on doing. Amazon a lot now. I mean, like all of a sudden, I, you turn anything on Amazon, it always starts in like some South Indian language. Why? But then why did they know. advertise it? Is it corrupted in some way? It seems like it's pirated in some way. Then because what's going no, on? No, no, no. You can uh, basically you just have to switch the language, right, of what you're watching. No, that's you know you can do that, Amazon, right? I'm, I'm I'm talking about on YouTube. Bro, we tried everything. I, I cried. I cried actually. No, no, hundred percent. You mm. can change the language that you're listening to it in. I was watching Loki. Dude, in Tamil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like how you still continued watching it even though you couldn't understand it. Like, again, like again, child of the it. child of the nineties. So I thought it will come back. What Amit said, you know, I, I thought it will come back. If TV is not work, they would come back. So we have that whole just be patient. You know how you believe in God and all. Just just be. Oh, patient. you thought it was part of the show. I know. I just thought something is wrong, but it will come back. Then of course I go to IT minister, and IT minister after five minutes tells me, you know. This must be some sort of pirated version, and that's the way it is. You have to find some other one. I'm like, what? No, no, no. Listen, so you go into what's happening, but I don't. I didn't get the nuances. Whenever yeah. you're this watching, Loki is not difficult to follow. I'll tell you. Well, that is also <laughs> probably true. <laughs> I don't know why they bother with language. Some of these films, really, really, what's the point of the dialogue? You know, you can see bad guy, good guy fighting. Yeah. And we shall we do the AM is six fifty five. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. are already have. I I have to All say right. though, I'm going through Kunal's Instagram, and you're correct. He's he's killing it. Reels, videos, fit pictures, everything. Non-stop. That's all he does. He's like an eight-year-old child. It's unbelievable, and a lot of it does himself. Plus, he's got his team. And now. and very very methodical food. also. One one uh, from from his food show. One from uh, yeah, your yeah, talk show, and yeah. then one of his own. Everything. Yeah. Even when you're working, he's always on the phone. When you're eating, he's always on the phone. It's very disgusting. I wanted to sit on the floor now. This irritates me, and he's got these obscene sounds on his phone. You know, trying trying noises that come all the time. <laughs> it's very twelve thirteen year old mentality for me. But uh, okay. It's it's like he doesn't know the temperature is outside because he's in AC house, AC car, and he's on the phone. So he doesn't even look out. So he doesn't know there's thunderstorms, lightning, nothing. He comes and says, "What are you saying, storm? I'm like, it's going on for one hour. Did you look out of the window once? I might have. But forty minute drive, he didn't look look up. I'm telling you, this is true. This is what's happening to the world. People are becoming so insular in that sense that they actually have like blinkers. So you were behind the outage, Cyrus. <laughs> I'm behind the outage. I'm a nature. I'm a nature poet. I'm the opposite of this insula fellow with the machine who can't get out of his. Today I had a bath at six thirty. Look at me with a pink towel. I mean, really, that just goes on all day in the intellectual pursuit of excellence that we all have. Uh, AMS. All right. Yes. Hey everybody! It's been a great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the Edges and Sledges Cricket Podcast, Ashwin and DJ dive into all the major scoops from the first week of the IPL's 2021 second leg. They talk about the Indian women's team beating Australia in the third ODI, breaking their winning streak of 26. On Gabi CD, Farad and Sunetra are in conversation with mental health practitioner Unnati Bharadwaj. They discuss loopholes in the mental health industry, especially for queer individuals, and how to come out safely to friends and family. On all things policy, Priyal Dalmeda and Rutheraj Gowekar discuss the rationale behind booster shots. On Hans Vani, listen to an intriguing story called. Okay, about how our eyes see everything and yet sometimes fail to grasp reality. And on the life manifesto, Zarina talks about the implications of burnout. Do follow us on social media where IBM podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any other show for that matter, please do tell a friend. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors on the network this week, Cred, Bank of Baroda, Quarter, Coinswitch, Kuber and Inter. We appreciate the support. 
Follow me at Instagram and Twitter on Bored Brocha. I'm so bored. I need your help. I need your love. I need your touch. Okay, just, just, just follow me. The first one comes in from wannabe vegan. Hey, me too. Uh, says, <laughs> all right. <laughs> says, uh, it's it's your uh, how we all live on the same three to four websites now. So different from the internet of the '90s and early 2000s, where we used to explore so many things on the web. Yeah, I guess that's true. But again, the thing is, uh, uh, you just uh, sorry for jumping in before anybody else answered. But I figured this question was for me. Uh, the, so I think one of the big differences is social media, right? And what's happened is that social media has kind of made it so that everything kind of functions from there. So all the other content that you're seeing is now coming on social media. What used to be a blog is now a social media post. So it it absolutely is 101 percent true that we've been all kind of been conditioned now to completely put all of our stuff, uh, basically just go to the same websites. If I look at the websites I use every day, it's all mm. outside of work stuff. It's all the same stuff for content consumption, right? Mm. It's Twitter, mm. it's Medium, it's uh, like e- Substack. Kungfu.com? <laughs> Kungfu.com, no, wuxiaworld.com. Wuxiaworld.com. Wuxiaworld.com, yes. This adult male of 47, he's, he loves his, his <laughs> Chinese Kung Fu novels about some farmer killing some zamindar and, you know, I mean, he just gets the whole story. Now, making fun of me and Loki, these don't need dialogues either. Yeah. No, they don't. He picks up, you know, he picks up how to kill yourself if you're a samurai. It's amazing, but it's good. You must have different perspectives. Yes, we must. No, you don't need dialogue for this at all. It, it, they, yeah. they're, they're, they're just fun, dude. I mean, like, uh, they're, I, I, I can't defend it other than to say, they're entertaining as hell. It feeds one part of the brain, man. Whatever people it say. Does. It does. That's like exactly Einstein, what it is. But doesn't mean you can't have a good laugh with a guy sleeping on a banana peel. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm worried for the boy, Abbas. I'm worried for the boy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, this next one comes in from Pradeep Pillai. It says, Amy, for all four panelists, uh, after noticing all of you wearing specs, I want to ask, oh, yeah. given an option, would you folks prefer the medical procedure which is available to permanently get rid of specs? Okay. Lasik, so karma. Can I just quickly tell you it's karma? I know, I, I have a take on this. Sorry? No, I, I'm one of the guys who bullied all the guys with specs in class. Four eyes, oh, wow. can't see. Hey, he's blind. Just <laughs> like karma. And all that. Right up to 43, 44 when I got my specs. I mean, uh, and then, you know, it's I, so I, I was not wanting to wear it in public. So I would just do this. And then people can tell. But when you're, then they hand you something, yeah. you go like, mm. and when you're on stage and you're struggling, that was yeah, the worst. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with names. <laughs> I can, you know, you can go off the cuff about anything, but you can't go off the cuff about names. You cannot make up names. <laughs> that was a big struggling block. I can lie about the award also vaguely get it right but what the hell if the name is Jagannathan and you're, you're saying Vidyanathan you know I mean it's huge so yeah so for me I would give it up in a heartbeat but we can't do it after the age of 14 or 15 right apparently we can laser apparently, yeah. apparently we can Abbas you can give your take uh, at the end let me just kind of uh, put sure. this I just found out about this uh, so I uh, a friend of mine got this done uh, so he had normal glasses and then the reading glasses came and what the doctor did for him was that basically on one eye, on your dominant eye, they corrected for normal vision. And for your non-dominant eye, they corrected for reading. Uh, and he oh. says that basically everything is sorted out and now he can basically see perfectly on all sense. What age? So I'm actually really considering it. How old is he? My age, my school buddy here. So 47-ish. 47, yeah. Exactly. So that means I can do it. Yeah, I'm not yeah, that far yeah, 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 yeah. I'll send you the name of the doctor. He sent it to me. I, I was Please gonna... send me the name of the doctor. <laughs> and uh, Silvery, we'll discuss how to pay for it. There must be a way. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Call your supplier today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and see me if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, Maybe we just do the Intel ad properly. Without fluffing it up, saying the <laughs> yeah. wrong words, missing the, the one important thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Abbas, you had a take, you said? Yeah, I, I said I would also get it corrected in a heartbeat. But even if my eyes do uh, get rectified, I'll still wear glasses with no power. Because now I, I'm not used to seeing my face without glasses. Please don't be me. <laughs> I miss that bit. Something yeah, froze. I've, I've, no, I said I'll still wear glasses without any power, even if I do get get the surgery done. Because I can't, okay, uh, I, I'm not used to seeing my face without glasses. I've worn them since I was two why, years old. Why can't you just get rid of the mirrors? But Abbas, <laughs> you have also never seen your face without glasses, right? Because if you don't have... I have, I mean, in pictures I have and... Okay, yeah, it also right, changes, it also changes your body language a little bit. Those who have had Correct. glasses all their life, they use it yeah, a lot, yeah. you know. They never yeah. have that empty yeah. hand space. Because you're always I mean, my, my, and, my uh, sister yeah. never wore glasses and the first time she, I think she got wore sunglasses for a long time or something. She said, how do you deal with the sweat under your eyes? And I'm like, I've never really noticed it because it's just always <laughs> there. 
That's really anyway, interesting. So yeah. For those younger people listening to the program, don't laugh and make fun of people with glasses and stuff because basically not anybody can escape it. At some point, you basically your yeah, eyes yeah. will start getting worse. It's it's a really sad but true story. And now my eyes are so bad I can't recognize my wife. Who are you? <laughs> Let me touch and find out. By touch, I will figure it out. Come here, lady. Come here. Oh, she's eating dinner now. You know, it's a married couple when the other answer is dinner now. That's it. That's our life. Yeah, dinner now. Come on, quickly. Last one. People are paying for this, Aisha. We're, we're doing subscription now. People are paying. All right. You think this is too much of a joke? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes. What are you rubbing? What are you Two doing minutes. on my show? Please don't do all this. Behave yourself. I have a. We have a very vegetarian show. We never discuss things like drugs and. We have fans called wanna be vegan. So yeah. Wanna be vegan? Yeah, there you go. That's our type. All right. This next one comes in from Tarun Kaushik. He says, oh, "In today's digital age, would you rather be more comfortable uh, sharing your private data with Facebook or with the government?" Facebook. Isn't it the same? <laughs> same thing. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, once you put it out there, what's the point of any discussion in any case, frankly speaking? No, but you're not putting it out there. The question is how these both of these entities are acquiring your data without your informed own, consent, yeah. mm, mm, right? Yeah. You informed consent. You you have consented, but you don't know what you've consented. Bro, this is why I'm pro cash. I'm saying yeah. you don't know what they're doing, what they can do. You can get cleaned out, bro. But if you have cash, at least you under the mattress, you can at least for a week survive. The money issue is so actually fintech, right? Financial technology is a lot more secure than this stuff is. This is just your normal standard surfing and stuff like that, right? When it comes to careers, Facebook, careers can get destroyed and stuff. No, but the information they get, etc., comes to the same thing. They well, sort of, it you, could be. You know, they, they, I'm not talking about just robbing you. But how does that matter? Whether how does that matter whether it's cash or digital? That doesn't matter, right? I'm a big proponent of digital currency. I don't know. I like the idea of just holding cash and walking around and looking at people with less cash and saying, "What's up?" It just, <laughs> just makes me feel good inside. <laughs> like I did with glasses, you know, glasses. You know, like, hey, can you read this? You know, you show one finger. <laughs> but but so honestly, me, I think uh, uh, I, I I if if you were to ask me, I am much more comfortable. In today's scenario, with Facebook having my data, than the government having the data, but if good laws are written, then I would be more comfortable with the government having my data than the Facebook having my data. But good laws are not written right now. That's a tough right. one yeah, for you is. to. I mean, how many people are going to say, "Okay, I, we are safer with the government"? I don't think you'll have too many people saying that. Yeah, oh. not for a oh. while. Not for a while. Hey, uh, one last mm -hmm. question. But what about right to privacy, man? Why should anybody have it? Right to privacy is not. It's uh, a fundamental right. right. It, it's not enshrined. It should be anyway. enshrined. It should be, but it's not. I just think, you know, like the you should be allowed to, you know, go into your toilet and scratch your, you know, nether regions and all that in peace. You know, yeah, I mean, that uh, the nightclub shooting in the US is a prime example of this, right? Where uh, Apple had to break into the iPhones of the two people who were suspected of it. Ah, the, the case whether they could or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a whole debate about whether they it could. It happens with the terrorists as well. With the terrorists, yeah, when you yeah. were trying to find out who is and what, when you break the so, right to privacy to find out or exactly. not. Exactly. So security versus privacy will always be. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I've changed my mind, albeit I'll go. I'm now pro government. I think I'll just give them my data. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Amit had one last question, I think. Yeah, I was just like, uh, Pradeep Pillai has asked this question, I think, on the last three or four evenings that we've done this. Okay. So I thought, let Pradeep. me just throw this here. We must. Yeah, I keep seeing him ask this question. Where do you prefer to be during mm -hmm. the cock and bull? Home, office, or IVM studio? Yeah. And why? It's a serious question. Well, it's not a question six in the evening, never IVM because it's one hour plus drive for me home. So that'll kill me. Um, I would not. Although I'd, I'd love to do everything else from the IVM, like a day, morning, normal work. Um... Office in the evening, again, I have to drive back in traffic. It'll be the worst time. So, yeah. <laughs> but the problem with the home is the lighting is the worst. People come in and out. Your wife makes an appearance. The dog takes out the light. Now and your wife doesn't want dinner. you doing this at home. Um, she doesn't really care. I mean, no, she does. She has spoken to me for like a good 10 minutes about this. When? No, no, no. Don't worry. Uh. That's only when, when everybody's <laughs> clashing on the internet at the same time. And we've had such terrible moments. We've become like silvery, you know? With things dropping and freezing and all that, and three people trying to <laughs> work at the same time. Who made this rule that three guys can't work at the same time in the same space? Use the internet. Nobody. I don't know. Like, you, Nobody. Know, you don't work, but we are working because then it won't, you know, the Wi Fi is too weak uh, and blah, blah, blah. Spend some, uh, get a better plan, dude. You have Geo in. And I mean, like, if you get a bigger plan on Geo, that'll cover everything. We, well, The amount of internet I have at my house is the amount of internet we're going to get into the office for everybody. And you have the same ability. Okay, to answer the question, 
to answer the question, I like doing it at home at six in the evening on Thursday with my bad wife. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> Hello. Shall we call it a night? Let's do it. Yep. So just one last question. So, what time do you all sleep? Just tell me honestly. Abbas, what time do you sleep now in this day and age that we live in? Between four and five. Wow. You know, we shouldn't be friends <laughs> on, on principle. Because I wake up. I literally wake up. You know, I, talk to I know. Costco. I know. I wake up and at five o'clock, I'm texting him and he answers me on his way to sleep. Because at nine, he doesn't respond. You know, between five and nine, he's out like a light. <laughs> Unbelievable. Amit, what time do you sleep on a normal day? Uh, sometime between 12 and 1. I wake up at around 7.30. I wake up around 7.30. Oh, you walk inside the room? Walk inside the house. Which is quite the opposite of what Moses did or something. And I'm just thinking, <laughs> those guys walked and created so many things. And you walk in the room. And... Silvery, what about you? Uh, around 3 in the morning. 2, 3 in the morning uh, for the most part. Okay. Once you're done with your WhatsApp texting that one friend. Yeah. Once, considering yeah, yeah. you're walking till 9.30. <laughs> yeah, till 9.30. And then, no, then he puts in extra yards. He's still on the company, <laughs> on the company website for some reason. Doing work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Amit, did you know you have such a hardworking employee? I did not. I did not. Well, I mean, like, I know that he works hard for sure, but I did not know that he was working till uh, 3 o'clock in the morning on nights. No, no, I'm not working till 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm <laughs> just doing stuff, man. <laughs> I got a life. <laughs> 45 to 3 is masturbation uh, quarter. I, I'll leave that out. After yeah, correct, correct, correct. Working, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, fair. Correct. Enough. I that's wish that girlfriend comes back to him. The girlfriend leaving him has destroyed this guy. He's now <laughs> got into like the 40s already. He's working till 3. What the hell? You're young. Go and, go and fight it's with fine, those two bikers. Go down. Go pick a fight with any it's biker fine, you dude. find. Come on. I mean, it's okay. I don't mind the girlfriend not being there anymore. <laughs> I'm over it. Really? <laughs> there are other people and all. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, there lots of fish in the sea is all overrated, huh? The bloody fish don't I mean, come out with it, No, it's right. it's true. It's <laughs> a lot of fish in the sea is true, is what I would say. I'm, I'm finding what you're it, saying is you've got now you lost the quality, but yeah. you've got quantity. Is what I mean, saying. it's it's fine. So at 9 30, you weren't, weren't working on the company payrolls and company website and all that crap, and you weren't on WhatsApp because you were with a lady. Yeah. That's possible. <laughs> No, forget about those rave party guys. If the NCP gets you, you're a hard nut to crack, bro. It's going to take a long time. Man. Yeah, long yeah, time. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, guys, uh, useless information as usual. Good night. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Abbas. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. Send us your questions on Twitter, on Cyrus Says In. Or you can email us, even if you're not female, on says at gmail.com. Have you ever wondered where the business world is headed? How the ways in which we create, market and sell to consumers will evolve? Or if we'll ever go back to wearing pants while working? For answers to all of this and more, tune into Advertising is Dead with me, Varun Dugirala. Every Tuesday, as I talk to entrepreneurs, leaders and change makers from across business, media, marketing and beyond, you can catch all episodes of Advertising is Dead on the IBM Podcast website, app or wherever you get your podcasts from. From uncensored and unfiltered chats with the who's who of the entertainment industry, I, Siddharth Kanan, bring your very heart chat show called Candid Kanan. Tune in every Friday on the IVM Podcast app or wherever you get your podcasts.